All right, you guys. Hey, hey, June 8th here at Bally's Bazaar, checking out to see what's happening. Hey, hey guys, this is One Man, One Camera. It's a bit of a voiceover today because there's a lot of copyright music playing here at the uh, Grand Bazaar shops in front of Bally's. Today is June 8th. It was a very, very warm day, and I wanted to walk around just to see how many shops had opened. And so let's see what's going on. Now this shop, this shop, this area is right in front of Bally's on the Strip. So it does have a very um, high visibility. So anyway, all right, so down this road on the right is Dirt Dog. They have opened up. I have not tried them, but they have a very strong name and very good reviews. Next to Dirt Dog is Sin City Brewing Company. I like this place. Been there a couple times, always friendly, have a good chat with the staff. Coming around the corner, there's Wahlburgers, which I have not tried yet, but during normal times, they do pretty good business. And this sign was advertising $7 vodka stuff, which I didn't even, um, you know, didn't worry about, didn't, it was not enticing at all. Okay. Now, there are two bars in front of, well, three bars in front of Wahlburgers. There's this one, I forgot the name of it, and Born and Raised, I think. Anyway, in this row right here, you see there's um, not a whole lot going on. And in fact, even during normal times, this side, this one, always seems a little quiet. Not sure why. But to the left, there was a retail outlet selling some consumer or some tourist goods and that, that sort of thing. So, hmm, you know, like I said, this is a very interesting little area. There are some uh, retail shops, some food shops, and the retail being uh, regular retail and tourist type things. This little, this little thing in front of us, I'm going to change real quick. That was a um, place where you could watch brand new TV shows and then rate them. I never tried it myself though. Okay. And this area right here seems to have some good shops in here. It looks a little bit busier. <laughs> During normal times, this area towards here, in front of Wahlberg, can get very, very noisy and a little bit boisterous because of the bars in front. The bars play uh, pretty loud music at times. Now the pricing of the bars, it's probably average for the strip. Um, there are times when the, the, you can get a coupon for like a free beer or maybe a two for one drink, something like that. But yeah, that's the way it goes. Now in this row right here, we have Giordano's on the right. And there is this little Mexican burrito shop right here, a taco bar. Never tried either one of them. Hmm, a lot of places I never tried, huh? Ah, well. There's some little tourist shops down here. Some little, there's a, um, there's be a dog shop down here, I think. A sunset case. You see, just little minor stuff, you know, and I don't know how they make the rent because the rent over here has to be really high, you know, really high. And there's It's Sugar, a nice little candy shop. And as the sign says, you know you want it. So down here, um, we're heading towards uh, what's it called, Blue Ribbon. I think it's Blue Ribbon Fried Chicken. Now this place is, I've eaten here uh, once and it was, I enjoyed it. I had, they were a little chicken burger thing, whatever it's called. And it was quite, um, quite tasty. So I can recommend this place for some of the products on there. So, to give you an idea of the pricing here, a breast is six and a quarter, a thigh four fifty, drumstick three thirty five, whole wing two fifty five, a tenter three seventy five. If you want four pieces, nineteen ninety five, the whole bird forty four ninety five. So I think I had the. Uh, Buffalo sandwich maybe for nine fifty. That was okay, yeah. But I don't know, you guys. Eight pieces of chicken for forty five bucks. Ew. This row has the uh, the ramen shop. Now that place does very good business, pretty much all year round. To me, I like ramen. I enjoy ramen, but I'm more of a uh, cool weather type ramen place to eat. And so in the hot heat, I really just. You know, don't eat that much ramen at all. 
but like I said, these guys have a very strong name. They are usually pretty busy. Now, also, they also have, um, what do you call it? Sometimes they'll have tables in this row where you can get your ramen and then sit down and eat it. Or I guess uh, anyone who's purchased food around here, or probably anyone, you sit down and eat your food. So and there's like a list of food they have there. So, hmm, you know, not bad. And then coming up, what's on the right side? I think we just passed the pizza place. Didn't get a shot of that. Hmm. My great camera work. Uh, there's a little ice cream shop right there. Never tried those guys. And then like a little kebab place, Mediterranean, Donner, kebab. That place is tasty. I had one there before, and I uh, ate at one of the tables that was in front of the ramen shop. And so uh, I was a happy camper. That was a very short, short, short video of what's happening at the bazaar. Valley's Bazaar. All right.